I just find it really difficult to understand how some people are really focusing more of their time on getting justice for the 2% of people who are falsely accused of rape than they are focusing their time on the 98% of people who are actually raped. Like, don't get me wrong, false allegations are awful. I literally hate them with a burning passion. One, it can ruin somebody's life. And two, it makes it even more difficult for survivors to come out and talk about their experience with rape. And if it's so clear, like, the way, like, Justin Bieber got falsely accused of rape. And he came, like, boom, 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 with, like, all the receipts. And he was like, I was with Selena. This literally wouldn't make any sense. Fine, I understand that. And I understand that people who are falsely accusing people should be punished if it's so blatantly, so blatantly obvious. But are you saying that anytime somebody loses, like, a rape case that they're now going to be saying, like, oh, they falsely accused them? Like, rape is super difficult to prove. So I don't think that would really work. Maybe it's just better to focus your time on putting away actual rapists than doing...